Hey, it's Brett Click with Spider for Kids. Welcome back. We've been working since the beginning of the year to take some steps to either remove some of the things that have gotten in your way since the pandemic that's zapping your energy or reintroduce some things that might have fallen off during the pandemic. We want to reintroduce these things or, or take these barriers out of your life so you have that inspiration, that passion, that energy once again to inspire kids. So last week I asked you to, we've been going through this whole process of looking at identifying what's gotten in your way, really putting down the excuses as to why we've let that happen, looking at that and saying, okay, am I okay with that? Deciding, hey, am I okay with this new bad habit that's draining my energy? Am I okay walking around feeling the way I do right now? Or do I want to see change? And many of you said I want to see change. So last week I asked you to, to identify some rituals around a new habit uh, that, that you wanted to have. And, and these rituals needed to be smart. In other words, they need to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. So I hope you got really specific with these really simple things because we're going to take one more step today. <laughs> it's a, Today's step is simple, but I'll tell you, it's going to be one of the hardest things. It's going to be one of the hardest things, especially if you're a little timid, you're not quite sure if you want to get this new habit going. But the most important thing, and I've seen this in literally thousands of people, and I mean it, thousands of people from even different cultures around the world, the most significant step we can take if we want to see change and make that change last is to find someone or something that's going to keep us accountable. Now, accountability, you can pay for accountability. A, a personal trainer is an example of, of someone who keeps you accountable. A financial advisor is an example of someone who keeps you accountable. Uh, our supervisors at work are people that keep us accountable. But I want you to think of, of how you work in your life. Do you work well like being accountable to another person? Do you work well being accountable to a group of people? Do you work well being accountable to a journal or a to-do list or an app? Are you a technology person? But whatever this new habit is, maybe you decided that you were going to exercise three days a week. Maybe you decided that you were going to put down the phone before you went to bed. Maybe you decided you're going to uh, maybe cut alcohol on the weeknights or whatever it is, whatever's crept into your life that you want to get out of your life or this new thing you want to add to your life to re-energize. Here's the big step. Tell somebody to keep you accountable. Tell somebody that you respond to well. So this might be, uh, make it public. Maybe it's people at work. Maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's just an accountability journal or, or whatever it is, but it needs to be measurable. It can't be a thing where I want to, you know, do good things. Oh, did you do good things? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Identify it. All right. So what's going to keep you accountable? Let's take that next step. Let's make it real. Let's make it public. Let's have someone help you. I'll see you soon.